You don't need to know what you're passionate about. In fact, you don't even need to have the one passion. So let's break it down. There's a lot of anxiety around this because you're limited on time. You're going to die before you die. You want to have an impact, but we also spend a lot of our times chasing after money unless you're born into royalty a lot of your efforts are put into you making enough money for you to live and not dying of poverty really the biggest stressor here is time we can accomplish our goals but time is running out we're going to die okay so it's like I'm trying to figure out how to get this money quick I'm trying to figure out what my passion is quick because I don't know what to do with my life and with my time but this is where a lot of us including myself overcomplicate the process way too much there's a fallacy that you need to figure out that one thing that's your passion, but why? But if you don't know the one thing that you're already interested in, then you shouldn't bother wasting your time obsessing over finding one thing. Your goal should be doing anything and doing that thing seriously until you know whether you're interested in it or not. The goal isn't to find one passion. The goal is to do everything that interests you. However, apply a couple of rules to provide structure. Number one, learn through projects. Doing is the fastest way to learn something. Do instead of reading about a topic. If you want to make a game on the phone, then just find a tutorial how to make the simplest uh, phone game and follow it A to Z until you've made a phone game. I don't care if it's the most basic thing ever, but make a video game. Finish that project, because if you don't finish a project, then you have nothing to show for your work. Which comes to my second step, which is complete every project you start. This is important for a lot of different things. Number one, when you're hopping around different topics, if you're not becoming a master at one topic, then the very least you can do is finish different projects on one topic. And step three is to synthesize all of this information, put it all together. Let's say you're someone who's had interest in being a game developer, right? You finished a video game. Then you had interest in making beats. You made, you made a couple of beats. And then you're someone who had um, you know, interest in pursuing YouTube. You made a couple of YouTube videos. At the end of it all, you have three amazing skill sets. You're able to code, right? You're a, you, you understand musical theory, right? You've made beats. And on top of that, you're able to communicate information effectively with people. So maybe at the end of it all, you're then in the position where you can even make a YouTube channel and teach people how to learn things quickly. There aren't a lot of people who know how to make a video game, how to make beats, and how to make enticing YouTube videos. My philosophy is, it doesn't matter whether or not you know what you wanna do in the future, what matters is right now, if you're doing something dope. I don't think it matters if you know in five years from now what job title you wanna have, as long as you're pursuing cool things right now. When I say cool things, I mean things that are high value skills, because that's the only way for us as people to actually increase our value, in the economy, which gets you more money and more freedom.